this is part two of day nine. Um, day, uh, part one was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be posted. So I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible, but it was a good walkthrough on all the features of approvals. So if you didn't see part one, go take a peek at part one before you watch this one. So this is part two, which actually will show you um, how to use the approval feature in SharePoint. A Little bit different than what I've shown you already, but a lot easier for those of you that use SharePoint regularly. Okay, so now we're gonna go um, back to Flow. And what we had done in part one is we had walked through what's an approval, what are the different types of approvals, how to post them on Teams, and so forth, all working from a designer. So I wanna show you how this feels on SharePoint, okay? So I'm gonna go to a uh, marketing collateral library. So imagine your team has to build PowerPoint presentations that you will give to your field so that they can market your product. Well, those presentations have to be drafted. Um, you may need some sign off before we pass it over to the field. And so I wanna show you some really easy tools that are built into SharePoint for this so that you don't really have to do all that we did in the last video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is upload a file here. I have some sample files sitting around and I'll just pick one of them. And now it's uploading that PowerPoint. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but you can also just drag and drop into SharePoint. So here, I'm going to make this smaller and I'm gonna get my folder up. Let's see. I will stop my PowerPoint and I'll get my folder up. So I have a folder of sample docs right here. And what I will do with these, and you can do this from your desktop as well, is just click on what you want to move and drag it right onto SharePoint. Notice that it tells you it's making a copy. It's not, it's not moving the file, as I incorrectly said. It's actually copying the file. And I love the way the blue text under the icon lets you know that. And as soon as you see that word copy, you may let go. And it will begin to upload that document. So remember, SharePoint, you don't have to use the upload button. You can drag and drop to the library can even send documents from Flow, okay? So now let's suppose we have a whole bunch of editors and what these editors are doing is they're working hard on these files, but as soon as they think it's ready to pass to the next team, um, it's kind of like a pre-field team or a field team, they can do something very simple, which is also managed as an approval. They can request sign off, okay? so. Look at this library. It has not been edited. I just created a new library and gave it a name. Um, and sometimes I'll purposely leave the space out of the name. It's just a habit I have to avoid any um, encoded URLs and stuff. But I can put the space in after. It will not change the URL from the first time I created it. That's an old SharePoint trick most SharePoint users know. The URL will not have a space because it goes by the first name you give it, all right? And this has no additional columns. It's just the default out of the box, name, modified, modified by. Now it has other columns. So if I go into edit current view, you can see it has quite a few columns. If I wanted to add created and created by, I could. If I wanted to add file size, I could. Sometimes I like to do that or version. So these are things I might do. I might add, especially file size. I like to keep track of how big the files are because it can impact their portability. All right, so now you can see I've edited that view slightly. All right, that's just, figured I'd throw in some SharePoint tips there. Now, if I click here, notice that 
There is no column related to approvals or sign off. But as soon as I, excuse me, as soon as I select a file, I get this little purple checkbox. And unfortunately, I can only do one at a time. I can't send these approvals out in batch. So you can only do one at a time because notice that when I try to select them all, my menu drills itself down to delete, download, move to, and copy to. But I lose my flow menu, okay? So just pick one file. Okay, let's say we worked hard on this one here. I'll just make sure I stop selecting everything. I worked hard on this one here, and now I'm ready to get sign off, right? And there's some editors or some people that I work with that will sign off on this so that I know whether I can give it to the field, all right? So what I'm gonna do is go, if I don't see anything about flow up here, which it depends on how zoomed you are. Like, let's zoom out a little bit. Notice that flow appears. So it kind of, it collapses what it can't fit into your current zoom. I happen to be um, challenged in sight. So I'm usually zoomed to about 125, which will hide the flow sometimes, okay? Depending on how thin or thick my screen is because SharePoint is being responsive, okay? So let's select that. Now I have it down to 125, I can see the flow. If you don't see the flow, just hit the three dots and it will be there, okay? Notice it says other things you can do with the selected items. It's kind of letting you know there's more under these three dots. Go peek. Now here I'm going to click here and notice automatically I did not make this flow. You don't have to make this flow. This flow is made automatically through code. So you don't have to know flow at all to do this approval, not at all. I'm just gonna do request sign off. And basically from a, from a, a technology perspective, request sign off is a type of approval. So it's gonna show up in the approval centers as well, okay? So I'm gonna click create flow, which means that it's gonna, somebody smarter than me in the back end of this, is creating the flow for me. I don't need to know how to use flow at all. This is so exciting to me. Now I want you to watch these columns though. Pay close attention to the columns as I make these changes. I'm gonna put this to myself. And here in the message area, a good habit is to tell people what you want them to do, right? Um, so I might say review, this deck for the field engineers, but please don't forget to check the slide on pricing, okay? So I'm letting them know exactly what I needed them to do. If, I, if I'm too vague, they might just scan it and then that's it. So try to be precise about what you want people to do when you request sign off. All right, so then I'm gonna hit run flow. Notice those columns. Notice that we now have a brand new column in SharePoint. I really love this because you don't even need to know how to make a column in SharePoint to run the request sign off approval, right? It makes the column for you in SharePoint and immediately marks it as pending. You see that there? This is one of my favorite things that I see on, on SharePoint because basically it's doing everything for me. Now I'm gonna go back to flow into my approval center and notice that it made the title, it let me know what the details were and it lets me know who requested this. And all I have to do is click this button approve or if I wanna put a comment in here, I can open up the card, hit approve and say, financials are, I'm sorry, the pricing is perfect. No changes needed. Please proceed with sharing the deck with field engineers, okay? 
So not only did I approve it, excuse me that this is a little bit below your screen, the confirm cancel. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this. Now let's go back to SharePoint to see what we get. So notice that the response was successfully recorded. If I hit done, will this be in my history? There it is, it's in my history. It tells me what the outcome was. If I click on the card, it'll open the card, giving me a link to the deck and showing me the comment they made as well. Okay, then if we go back to SharePoint, notice that the sign off status is now approved. So those of you newbies to approvals, I really love this feature. It just works and you don't need to know a lot. So I wanted to share that with you today. And then as we get into the to next day's worth of approvals, you'll learn some other ways to do approvals um, with the start and wait action. And you'll learn how you can keep your team up to date on what's happening as well. So thank you again for coming back to the 25 Days of Flows, the Power Automate Advent Calendar, and I look forward to talking to you soon.